Hey guys, it's Coach Dan with Legacy Sports Camp, and it is time to work on some grounders. First, let's get in the ready position. To be a good fielder, you need to be in the ready position. Feet should be shoulder width apart. You don't want them too close or too far apart where you're doing the splits. Stay nice and wide. Now, be sure to bend your knees. I can't stress it enough, bend your knees. Do not bend at the waist. This is gonna make it a lot easier to scoop up the ball and move if you need to. Your hands should be out in front of your body. They should not be resting on your knees. Since the ball isn't always going to come directly to you, the ready position is gonna make it easier to move from side to side. How we move is sliding our feet and shuffling from left to right. Our feet should not touch and they should not cross over in front of each other. You don't wanna trip. We also don't want to drag our feet through the dirt. That's going to slow us down. It is almost like a, like a sideways skip. So we want to move our body and get behind the ball so we are fielding or leaning over to try to pick up a ball that's on our side. We want to get our body behind the ball. Now as soon as you're in position and ready to get the ball, you need to put your glove on the ground and make a ramp for the ball to go into. If your glove isn't on the ground making a, a ramp for the ball to roll up, the ball could get trapped underneath your glove and you won't catch it cleanly. Now that we have our glove on the ground and the ball rolls into the glove, we trap the ball with our other hand so it doesn't roll out or bounce out. We like to think of this as how an alligator would eat its food. So our glove hand is the bottom of the alligator's jaw, our top hand is the top of the alligator's jaw, and the ball is the food. As soon as the ball goes into the mouth, you wanna chomp down and hold that ball in the glove tight. Chomp down fast because we don't want the ball to get away. Now that we have the ball securely in our glove, we would do the same thing that an alligator would do. The food would then go into its stomach. So now you're going to bring your hands into your stomach and at the same time, you're gonna turn your body and get ready to throw it to first base or second base or wherever you need to throw the ball. So now we're going to drill this a few times. Get in the ready position with your glove out in front of you. Ready position, glove on the ground, chomp into the stomach and turn. Ready position, glove on the ground, chomp into the stomach and turn. Drill that again and again and again. When you're ready, have a parent or a sibling roll you the ball, get into the ready position, get your glove on the ground, chomp, and then bring the ball into your stomach and turn, getting ready to throw. There really is no limit to how many times you can do that drill. Here's a quick drill to help you get your body behind an incoming grounder. Have someone roll a ball and quickly slide into position and let the ball roll between your legs. Make sure your feet don't touch or cross. To make it harder, roll several balls in succession and quickly move ball to ball by sliding to your left and right, letting each ball roll between your legs. How many can you do in a row? Thank you again for watching and remember, practice as much as possible.